Okay, guys, so let's get started with installing PHP My Admin. Okay, so first of all, we will install some PHP modules that are necessary for that. So uh, you go sudo apt install php mb string and php get text. Uh, these are important for PHP My Admin. All right, so we hit install, enter our password, enter our password because we messed up enter our password <laughs> all right unable to locate php dash get text okay what is the problem it should be locating this because this is like you know it allows php admin to handle non sky characters php get text not found what is the problem? Get text. Install Ubuntu. Okay, so let's just check this how to do this. They don't have PHP in front of it, but I think we should have an ph we should have php here what okay so let's just remove this php and try with get text okay so there's no php in get text all right anyway while it's installing in the previous uh, tutorial we installed apache we installed mysql and we installed php so you can check that tutorial as well we are just setting up our full server and in the next one we will be installing filezilla not filezilla as a ftp so that uh, we can give filezilla username and passwords or ftp username and passwords to our users okay so once this is done, we'll move on to that and that will complete our server setup or LAMP server setup course. Okay, so our phpMyAdmin is installed, not phpMyAdmin get text. Now we need to install and sudo install, not sudo install, apt install. What do we need to install? PHP. What is happening here? PHP my admin okay hit enter okay my internet is working very slow guys bear with me please yes okay so do we want to set up PHP my admin with HTTP uh, uh, light HTTPD or Apache we want to set up with Apache all right hit enter here So this uh, as is asking us uh, is the database already configured or do you want to configure database for pitch admin with db config common. So if you have a database admin you can do no and the database admin will do this stuff. But if you don't have you can press yes. But if you have then also you can press yes because then your PHM admin you'll be able to set password for your PHM admin user yourself while installing this. So I'm just going to hit yes. What is wrong with my so uh, this system has gone crazy as you can see so here you just install set up your password so uh, let's say I want to you can just enter your password so the password is okay what should I set the password I don't want to change it later so uh, okay I just set up a password okay now hit tab and then enter, hit okay okay so this is the password config configuration you need to enter password here the one that you had already set so the password is okay now this should be working 
okay so ph my admin is installed and let's check it out let's check if the uh, link is working or not so we go here as our as you can see this apache page this is the thing that last installed and now if we check here php my admin should work but since this is not working we will set up we will have to set up a config so what we want to do is we want to go to cd slash etc slash apache or httpd in your case if it is sent to us or fedora versions or uh, not fedora the red hat uh, version so and then you go to conf dot available and then you create a new conf call it phmi admin dot conf so here we want to link to our phmi admin installation so what we want to do is the directory in which phmi admin is installed is why am i not able to edit okay it is direct URI. so the installation directory is usr slash usr slash here slash php my admin so this is the directory in which php my admin is installed okay so we just write this and we've set alias so with our root we just want to set php my admin and we want this to point to user slash here slash php my admin all right so this is it now we our root url slash php my admin will point to this directory okay so let's write this okay this is not entered for editing so i didn't have sudo there so i'll just oh my god i'm having so many so much trouble with the mouse okay come on please work okay i copy it i quit and then i enter sudo here and then I paste our stuff. Okay. And then I right quit and then I do sudo a2 and conf Okay, as you can see the other stuff have dot conf here. So I'll just go sudo a2 en conf phmi admin. And the configuration is enabled. Now we just go sudo system ctl reload apache two if you you can have httpd if you are in centos or red hat systems okay we have an error now why are we having so many errors error is because what is this can't have a look at the user root it's because i don't know why are we having this error we should not have this error sudo a2 en conf php my admin it's already enabled service apt apache start Sudo service Apache start. Now I think it is working now. Let's check the status. No, it failed because what is the problem? Syntax error on line two of. Okay, it's because of a syntax error. What is the syntax error now in line two? Oh my god. Conf available php my admin dot conf okay i forgot the sudo here 
so what did I mess up? What did I mess up? Or it takes one argument. Okay, I'll just remove that thing. Now, how about now? What? I have removed that. It is running, but we are having this error here. Or it takes one argument. And our I've already commented that, so let's just check if PHM admin is working or not here. Yes, it is working, guys. As you can see here. Now you can log in with your root user. Okay, or the user password that you had set. What was the password? I forgot the password. <laughs> what was the password? Okay, I will log in with the root password now. As you can see, we have logged in using the root password. All right, so yeah, this is it, guys. If you have any problems, let me know in the comment section below. Peace out.